All right, let's have a look at this manifesto here. I was waiting for it last night, but it didn't get out in time before I had to go to bed. So thanks to Carve for spoiling in his title on YouTube and YouTube recommending the video to me. I already know they did something to statistics. All right, let's see here. Every release we choose some specific game balance issues and gameplay limitations to address and adjust. The patch notes tomorrow will provide the comprehensive list of changes, but today we'd like to cover some specific changes and the reasons for them. The use of statistic has been a feature of Passive Exile for a very long time. Uh, I don't know, very long time. I don't think I agree with that. Uh, a stat stick is an offhand weapon that is not valid to use with a skill you are using when dual wielding. You get all the benefits of the stats on the weapon. So are they making it local now? While not having any limitations, it might have affecting the use of the skill. You can use a weapon that has the attack speed and or damage you want for a skill, while the offhand weapon provides excellent stats without its speed or base damage limiting you. This issue, this use started off as an interesting gameplay element to use as part of a build, but over many releases, as more powerful modifiers on unique and rare weapons have been added, and whose fucking fault is that? Huh? The power of stat 6 cannot be ignored when planning builds and is stifling other choices, including genuine dual wielding. I mean, you fucking knew this when you introduced it to the game. Everyone knew how broken they were. It's, it's not a it's not a surprise. What the fuck? In three four five oh, we are removing the ability to use stat stick. What do I mean removing the ability through the following changes? You will no longer be able to use skills that require a specific weapon equipped if you are dual wielding and one of your equipped weapon is unsuitable for that skill. So I mean, this doesn't stop. Spellcasters for having stat sticks. Well, right? If you're dual willing and want to equip weapons, it's unsuitable for a skill. I mean, you just. If you do. People are, uh, like, fossil crafting, uh, like, axes and swords either way. So if you do Blade Flurry, you just. Oh, that alternates, though, doesn't it? But if you Sunder, which doesn't alternate, you can just. Fucking statistic uh, an axe still, right? Skills that could be used with two weapons, but were main hand only, now use both weapons when dual wielding. Ow! So, okay. So, that means Sunder is alternating? Interesting. We found that with this change, it was important to make skill bind specific to your weapon set. You can now have an entirely different set of skills bound to your main set of weapons and your second set of weapons. Wait, what? We make skill bind specific to your weapon set. To your main set of weapons. Wait, wait, so they actually, like, fixed the action bar now? That is so good! I'm assuming they mean weapon swap. I've been wanting this forever. I wanted this since forever. Now where are we? Energy shield, recharge raid, we already know about this. Intro blah, 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 blah. For context, and I was like, yeah, we, we've already seen this. Initially, this change was explored as a way to make it easier for casters to use Eldritch batteries to solve mana issues. Wait, what? I mean, what? Casters don't have mana issues, right? Because, I mean, if you're a caster, you go mind over matter. Which means you... That's that's not true. I mean, what? You just can't have mana issue as a caster. Like, if, if you're a caster, you're a mind of a matter. End of story. If you're a CI, you can't do Eldritch Battery either way. Uh, 
I mean, it's probably, I mean, it's a good change, but I don't see... One major issue standing in the way Eldritch Battery being effective is that it doesn't work very well on its own, needing something like Celis Oath to go along with it. Mm, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, that's actually a bit clunky. I literally haven't done an Eldritch Battery build since they first changed it. And when was that? 2.0? Yeah, 2.0. I haven't touched Eldritch Battery since. Uh, whoops, Daisy, I forgot where I was. Uh, while there were concerns that this might introduce issues with other builds, when tested it was a justified change and was beneficial for a variety of cases. All right. As a further support for Eldritch Battery and Energy Shield based builds in general, more flat Energy Shield has been added to on the tree. Ooh. Energy shield got buffed. Cap on slowing effects. I fucking knew it. That you can slow the expiration on an effect on a character through a time slowing mechanism. Such as number change is now capped to seventy-five percent from all. Wasn't it always seventy-five? I thought it was always seventy-five. Cause, uh, like way back, you could hit 100%, which means they didn't even attack. They just stood still. So I know they fixed that, but was that just like down to 95 or something? Because I thought... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It feels justified, I suppose. I just don't really... Yeah. Time slowing effects are a very powerful defensive tool, limiting time flow to a cap allows us more flexibility in making content. Blah 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 blah. Uh, the problem is like where you w truly want the slow is on bosses though, and they're like curse immune. So the patch notes tomorrow will cover a large number of unique item rebalances. Some of these are simply numerical changes, while others are closer to redesign. I think we've already seen all of these actually. Um, wait. Wait, oh, yeah, isn't wait the falling point we're playing? Okay, an item that drops very rarely should be justified as being that hard to find. Many very rare items have been improved, while a few were made more common. Unique items that are acquired through specific high tier bosses, elder shape recon should be balanced upwards where they were not up on to par. Um, not sure I understand. So basically. The items were too shit, so they're buffing them? Wait, are they like buffing Void Force then? <laughs> Indigon? They're buffing Indigon? <laughs> uh, unique items that dramatically affect the diversity in an animal would be addressed. See the by. Oh, they're changing rarity too. Uh, we're adjusted. It's an ongoing process. I may have to sort of change by the above. It may not need to be adjusted. Uh, cast on. Some items that offered triggered effects had their cooldowns reduced. Well, the triggered effect or cast on crit, cast on melee kill. Oh, they're actually, oh. I know people were uh, salty about cast on melee kill when cast on crit got a buff. I'm like, where's the cast on melee kill buff? I still don't really understand the, the point of cast on melee kill, though. I really don't. I mean, fun, but if, if effective, efficient? Nah, I just don't see it. Archetypes. Uh, I'm just not gonna read everything out loud. I feel, I feel <laughs> voice getting tired. One of the approaches we use in patches in developing skills and making changes around some specific playstyles. This is centered around the concept of having some build archetypes. 
We make a specific build and add features and balance changes around that build. While some players are expected to end up in the archetype, we also want the tools to be useful in existing build and to allow and change other builds that share elements with it. Uh, yeah, so basically everything is now cold snap. Every cold skill is now cold snap. Uh, brands, champion base, stack sword steel, banners. I'm not sure I understand. Did I miss anything? On a new skill type, brands. I think I missed something here. I guess it was like banners, but impaled, and I don't know. The coal base caster has led to the new skill, winter orb. Rework of Arctic Breath and Ice Bear. I mean, literally everything is fucking cold snap now. You do a cold... You do cold damage that chills, potentially freezes, and then you leave a, an area of effect damage of a time. I mean, that's so dumb. Are now on new item modifiers. It's... yeah. Oh, a cultist. A cultist is getting damage over time to cold as well. I guess generic damage over time. Let's see, let's scroll down. We're getting to the end soon. Uh, the Arctic base. Some damage led changes on the higher fans and also had knock on effect for totems. Number of totem nodes now also offer benefits for brands. Wait, what? Hierophant doesn't get plus one? Wait, hold on, I don't understand. Did they even change anything? We get more damage. Wait, did they remove? Cause uh, there's, there's two nodes, right? One that gives a plus one to totem, and another one behind it that gives plus one to totem. I don't think I understand the change. So basically, it's still plus one, but we get 3% more damage per totem instead. So, Soul Mantle, Hierophant next league. Go. Holy crap. Soul Mantle, Hierophant. Yeah. That's gonna be the meta. For sure. From other sources, players will have a number of options for totem builds. Um, do they just mean the new support gem? Or what are the sources? Oh! Maybe you can craft. I think I saw that on the, like the trailer or something, on the new crafting. Like you can craft plus one totem or something. Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know. The champion now has a strong impale based way to play. Eh. But what about cell cast? In the last few days, the community has been very keen for new so casters who don't rely on totems or triggers, which is often referred to as cell casting. Cell casting has not been a specific focus of the set of balance changes. And we don't want to rush in. All right. Betrayal does include some changes for various things associated with self casting. We have designed the new cold skills to be aimed at self casters, for example. Um, yeah, we're gonna f need the, the patch notes. But yeah, there were some cool things. Soul Mantle Hierophant, let's go. I'm not sure how rip uh, statistics are for. Uh, I mean, it's, it's literally only for. Um, wait, does it does it does it not apply to spells now? Then is it not global for spells? It says skills. We have to go back. Uh, you will no longer be able to use skills that require a specific weapon. 
not suitable for that skill. I mean, this must still work for uh, casters, right? So it's still gonna be broken for casters. That's how I understand it. Alright. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait for a patch notes tomorrow. Uh, so now I'm gonna edit uh, the uh, Tips and Tricks for Zones Part 2. I'm gonna edit that. It's like a, an hour raw footage I have to go through and upload that in a few hours. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me one or two, one or two hours to go through all of that, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can make uh, another like update type video tomorrow or something. Cause there are, I, I meant to do one yesterday but i didn't have time and i was going to do one today but i was started to questioning if there was any point to it we'll see but yeah the, this were this this was not i was i expected more i expected to read uh, more stuff super hyped for patrons tomorrow peace